Today we're going to attempt to find out which product works best for absorbing liquid in your van. Um, and when I'm talking about liquid, we're talking about what you put in your potty. So here we go. We have the Tractor Supply Natural Pine Pellets that have been suggested to us several times. We have a scoopable scented cat litter, puppy training pads, and the Lysol product that we've been using. We are all about doing the most economical thing, so we are going to test these products and see which one really does come out the winner. So here we go. First up is the pine pellets. We weighed out one ounce of pine pellets. Now, with our experience with the Lysol gel, um, we know how much a capful, minim, minimum capful will absorb. So we're gonna start with a quart of water and see how one ounce of pine pellets do with one quart of water. Next up is the scoopable cat litter. We weighed out one ounce of scoopable cat litter. And again, one quart of water. Next up is the puppy pee pads that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. Those have also been suggested. And remember, we're testing for absorbency right now. So I'm just gonna shove the whole thing down in there. That was one ounce of pads because when you're in your van, there are two things you need to consider. One is weight and the other is space. So right now we are dealing with the weight issue by comparing the product ounce per ounce. And then that will obviously answer the space issue as well when we come to the end. And finally, the Lysol product. And you notice when we weighed this that we only used half an ounce of Lysol and that is because we have experience with this product and we know that an ounce of Lysil would require a much bigger container. Here we go, one quart of water. Let's make that two quarts of water. In all fairness, we're going to give each of these products a little shake. Because when you're driving around in your van, stuff is a jiggling around in there. We're going to see if we can squeeze a little more water into this Lysol product. We have two cups here. Just 
took another cup. We're going to wait a couple of minutes and come back. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's see how we did. Here's our pine pellets. One ounce of pine pellets will not handle one quart of urine. We're going to do the smell test. And yes, it smells like pine. It's nice. That's a nice scent. But if it's not absorbing the product, it really doesn't matter what it smells like. Our scoopable cat litter is next. Again, cannot handle one quart of water. I did buy the scented, so let's see what it smells like. Nope, kind of nice, very lavendery. Our puppy pee pads. Now, I am surprised. They did perform much better, but as you can see, there is still some liquid in the jar. So could not quite handle four quarts of water. These did much better than I thought they were going to though. I am very surprised with that. And our final product where we used one half an ounce, half the amount of material in weight as these other products. We put in two and a quarter quarts of water. As you can see, that is completely solidified. And because we have had experience with this product, you have to take my word for it, but I can tell you that this will absorb at least one more cup of water which would make it two and a half quarts per half ounce, which would make it five quarts of water per one ounce of product minimum. I'd say we have a winner. So when it comes to how often you'd have to change your bag, it's clear that the Lysol is gonna be the winner on that product because you're not gonna to have to change your bag as often per amount of product used. The Lysil is, is a two pound container. And not only is it a two count, you know, it, it's small, it's compact. The measurement is, you know, the cap full up to there, that's what we use, says that it will treat a half a gallon of liquid. We treated almost a half a gallon of liquid here. We ran out of space because uh, we were one cup short of a half a gallon mainly because when the gel solidified, obviously it, it, it's gonna expand, take up volume, and, and that was, we, we couldn't fit that last cup in there. Now the reason we used four cups of water is because the average person drinks between four and eight cups of water a day, at least I hope they are, and especially if you're out there hiking, I hope you're drinking more. But we figured this was a fair analysis of what one day's worth of urine would be for a single person.
finished our crude test on which product is the most absorbent and which product holds the liquid the best. And by far, hands down, the Lysol product came in number one. The training pads came in number two. Um, for absorbency, they were great. However, they did not hold the liquid as well either. As you saw, they do drip, 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 drip. So um, a strong number two, but number two. So now we're gonna look at the cost and a few other factors as well. These comparisons are based on one person per day. So you would have to double it, triple it, quadruple it, depending on how many people are in your, in your vehicle. We compared the cost, which by far the pine pellets were the winner. Um, even with the amount of pine pellets you would have to use daily, the pine pellets were the winner. Uh, cost-wise. They came in at $23 per year versus if you bought this product, it's going to cost you about $79 per year per person. And that's based on a 48 ounce liquid output per day per person. Um, the average output is 27 to, I believe it's 74. Um, we just went with the average 48 right in the middle. Not everybody is as super hydrated as they should be. And uh, if you're active, of course, you're sweating more anyways. Um, we also looked at the purchase frequency per package, how often you would have to buy the package to store it. Um, we looked at the impact of storing that product in your van. And the last thing that we looked at was the amount of solid waste that's going to the landfill every year. Um, that's also important to us to, to, to minimize our impact. Um, so I will post this so y'all can see it. And this is what we found out. Like I said, the pine pellets were absolutely positively the cheapest per year. But when it came to purchasing frequency, the Lasil product won. Each bottle will last one person 107 days on average. You need three bottles per year, obviously. So you could literally purchase this all at one time and store all three bottles in your van if you wanted to. The pine pellets was the same also. You only need to purchase three bags per year per person. I don't think you would ever want to carry three of these in your van at one time. This is a 40 pound bag. This is a two pound bag. So you're using 40 pounds worth of material every 107 days you're using two pounds worth of material. All of these things impact your gas mileage. So, you know, if, you, if you're cost conscious, those are things you also need to factor in. Yes, this is gonna cost $56.53 more per year. How much is carrying extra load gonna cost you in gas mileage? Could be relative, I'm not sure, but it's something to think about. The next thing, as I mentioned, was storage space, the impact of how much product you use, and I looked at it per week. Um, you're gonna need two of these bags per week on the puppy pee pads. Um, obviously, when you buy a container of cat litter, it's, it's going to last you for a little while, only five days. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and, and we did buy a decent product of as you'll see in the cost comparison, we, we bought a $6 cat litter and the reason was being is because people have mentioned that it needs to be scoopable. Um, other people have mentioned that it's scented. So we bought a scented and we bought a scoopable um, just to make it a, a fair comparison on the odor test as well. Solid waste footprint, obviously, of sending these things to the landfill. 137 pounds per year per person for the pine pellets. The cat litter, 274 pounds per person per year is going to the landfill. The puppy pee pads, believe it or not, 42 pounds of these because even though, you know, they're, they were very absorbent, they're also bulky. And the Lysil, seven pounds a year. That's all you're sending to the landfill, seven pounds of material per year. In three out of the four tests, the Lysil won. We don't mind paying the extra 56 bucks a year 
because of the compactness of this product and because this product seriously holds liquid. You're not going to have to worry so much about leaky bags when you're using this because, because the product gels so well it really holds the moisture in. You can see it's not, it's not drippy at all. That's water. <laughs> All three themes have their have their benefits, you know. Um, like I said, this is this is just our personal choice. Doesn't have to be everybody's personal choice. Like I say, you got more space. These smell great, you know. It smells like pine. Um, you know, the the cat litter, the scoopable cat litter. If you don't mind scooping it that often and having to refill and refill and refill your your waste bucket and that's fine also you know the puppy pee pads if you're not worried about the dripping this came in number two the only thing that i can say about this product that is a negative is that it does have odor control but it does not have a scent we are trying two different products right now we tried this $1.25, pick it up at the Dollar Tree, cat litter deodorizer to throw in there. I particularly didn't like it because it kind of smells like OxyClean and that is not my favorite scent in the world. Once again, we didn't mind spending a few extra bucks to try this product out. And this is Aunt Fanny's Carpet Refresher. It's got a fairly nice lemon scent to it uh, with a little bit of mint under, underlying mint to it. This stuff smells really good. We have not tried it with the poo test yet because we just purchased it. But when it comes to liquids, um, it, it definitely gives you a nice lemony scent in your van. Like I said, this is odor control. You do not smell, the, you do not smell urine with this. Um, you will smell feces with this. This keeps the van smelling fresh and we are going to try it for number two and see if when we sprinkle a little bit of this on the top of it, if, if that's going to control the odor. And we'll get back to you on whether that does or not. So that's it. That's our summary. Um, leave your comments below on what you think about the test and what you think the pros and cons of each product are. So that's it. I hope you learned something from this. I know I did because I am really, really surprised about the performance of these puppy keypads. Like, subscribe, share, all that wonderful stuff that promotes our channel. We appreciate your time. See you on the trail or in the campground or wherever we might end up this year.